Right, Zingy Black, thanks for subbing. This is a sponsored stream. We're gonna be playing Eternal Threads. This game, um, do you have to mention that you're sponsoring your tweets too? I don't think so, because they're not paying me. They didn't ask me to tweet, they're just paying me to stream it. Um, this is a sponsored stream. Uh, uh, we're playing Eternal Threads. This is a time travel game. Uh, the basic story is, I think it's either seven or six people. I think they die in a fire in an apartment building. And we can go back in time for each individual person and look at all the events on a timeline of different conversations they had and stuff and try to alter to try to save each of them. I think it's that's the premise of the game. Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. I am uh, doing a sponsored stream of a game called Eternal Threads. Uh, it's a time traveling game where you can. Well, it's a long premise, but come to chat if you wanna. You wanna see me play it. And then later we're gonna do a watch party of the CS:GO game quarterfinals between Navi and Heroic. See there. I ran out of time, but I think I got it. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so we watch. There we go. Okay. Game mode. Oh, hello there, 43. I see you are fully qualified now. Huh? Hey, that's very good. Good. Well, okay, let's uh, let's find you a real mission then. Hey, ah, tier three. That's not too difficult. It's one location. It's good. Good. Um, six erroneous fatalities. Could be worse, 43. Okay. So it's six. Yeah, I thought it was either six or seven. Must be saved, and you are only authorized to alter the decisions they made in the week before they died. Change the right set of decisions, and you save them all. So, let's find somewhere to drop you with no witnesses. Busy. God, busy always happens to me. Wait, ah, oh, wait. Okay, we got something. Forty-three. It's a few hours afterwards. It looks clean. It's dark though. Don't worry, I'll send some lights. Let's get you when and where you need to be. Exclamation mark <laughs> eternal <laughs> threads in chat if you want to check out the game. Initiating crossover sequence. I believe the playtime is like ten hours. Eight eight to ten hours, I think. Uh, ep epilepsy warning. Five seconds. I'll see you on the other side, 43. Oh, it might be a little late Three, for this. Two. One. Temporal crossover initiated. Temporal it's a horror game. Complete. No, it's a story game. Light drones inbound. Oh, cool. Light drones crossover complete. Ah, still in one piece, 43. Good. Good, right, okay, let's get you set up. Activate your visualizer. Are we in? Location. That's Manchester. Come on. UK. We're close to Manchester. Temporal reference. Oh yeah. 4:03 a.m. 20th of May, 2015. Perfect. Now you'll probably need some boosters, okay? Your system yeah. will be checking now. Please place first signal booster at location indicated on visualizer. Well, what did I say? Huh? Okay, 43. You just need to head towards that little white dot on your vision. Right, we gotta learn the game. Good. Right, okay. Please place second signal booster. So, six people have died uh, by a fire in this uh, apartment building. 
And we're here to see if we can save them by altering their decisions. Um, that they made the previous week. Right now we're a few hours after the fire, I think. Or a few days or something, I can't remember what he said that. I think he said a few hours. Which doesn't seem likely. This is not a horror game, no. Huh. <laughs> Please place final signal booster. <laughs> Yoink! The target of the visualizer is located on a different floor. The white dot will be replaced with an arrow. Yeah, got it. Ah, yeah, we got SCP on our arms. Must be connected to the... Could it be connected to the... SCP... I mean, SCP is public domain, isn't it? It's not like, nobody owns it. Right? Isn't that just... Activating signal boosters. Am I wrong? Scan complete. Corruption detected. Six erroneous fatalities confirmed. Conclusion event determined. Location transfer to visualizer. Oh, where they died? Ah, the system is locked in. Good, good, good. Okay. Go follow the target on your visualizer and we can see how the story currently ends. I mean, if it says SCP-43, that's me, I think, because he, he was calling me 43. Open the doors. <clears throat> All six should have survived, but time has been corrupted, and now they are very, very. What does that dead. mean? Time has been corrupted. Stopping the fire would fix all of this, of course, 43, but forecasting is saying this has major repercussions further down the timeline. Ah, this is interesting. Which is why you are using a scalpel instead of swinging a axe. Analyzing timeline. Evaluating I like this, the kind of butterfly effect feel. Time map available. I always find it very interesting. Ah, good, okay. Open up your time map and I will talk you through it. Here's the end of the time map, 43. The large hexagon is a conclusion event, and you can return here and rewatch it at any time. Small hexagons are the final events for each of the subjects. If you change someone's fate, then both their final event and the conclusion event will change. Holy the white shit. events are all part of the current timeline and can be watched at any time and in any order. The grayed out events are potential events from alternative timelines and cannot currently be watched. Oh, so if I change if one change event, they'll, yeah. Which alters the timeline, some events will change state okay, cool. from one to the other. Once you have watched the decision, 43, it will appear on the map as a diamond, so it is easier to find it again later. The portraits at the top will show you who is in each event as well as whether they are alive or dead on the current timeline, 43. And this is the earliest event on the timeline. Like the rest, it currently has a question mark because it has not yet been watched. While only you can choose any event in any order, 43, let's just start here for now. Select this event, and I'll check everything is working as it should. Do you understand? Oh. You know what I will say? I mean, I haven't played yet. 
but to do a layout, a UI for a game like this, this must be complicated as fuck. And so far, I think, like, <laughs> they've, they've done an okay job here <laughs> at, at explaining it. Alright. Good, we're ready. Let's go. Tom's room. Day one, Wednesday. 0800. Location, Tom's room. So for those who just or are just joining us, um, we've time traveled before a fire which killed six people, and we're trying to save them by altering events during the week before the fire. And this is the first event. I mean, yeah, he's he's looking better. And your friend, oh, you look Frankie. No, it's not as often, but he's, he's still pulling out his feathers. He's talking about his bird. I thought he was flirting with the guy on the phone. So this is Frankie. Yeah. I talked to the vets. They want to keep him overnight. I just, I just don't know if that will causing more stress, you know? Wait to see if Frank gets better this on his own. This is fortunate. Book vet upon Frank. Should try and change it, okay? So we can make sure everything is working properly. Yes? Okay, let's book a vet appointment for Frank. Yeah, you're right. They had an appointment for next Tuesday. So, uh, booking it for then. So, sorry. That's that's the door. I've got to go. I'll speak to you later. Bye. 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 I can do it again. Oh, I can change it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Sorry. I guess I can change my mind? The birdcage is gone. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh, nice. Okay, that okay. saved him. This means your visualizer is working properly and you're fully able to change the timeline. And as a bonus, the little birdie also gets to live too. <laughs> Everyone's a winner, eh? <sighs> anyway, probably best to head back to the time map and select another event. Yes? So I guess because the vet appointment, because this is Wednesday, and the vet appointment is on Tuesday, and they wanted to keep him overnight, I think that's when the fire happened. So he wasn't here for the fire, because he was at the vet. To so move quickly around the time map, press and hold the left mouse button while on an empty area of the map, and then drag left to right with the mouse. Internally, you can view the viewpoint to a different day by selecting from the day indicator at the bottom of the map. Tom decided to book a vet appointment. Am I kind of in the way here? We'll see if it. I think that's only for someone else. Tom decided to book a vet appointment for his budgie. Oh, I can change it. Okay. So it's not permanent. To vet or not to vet. And then these blue ones are potentials if I make certain decisions on previous ones. But what did he say about the hexagons? He said something about the hexagons that was different. They're in the end. I wonder if they're more fatal or something. Oh, I can make it only show for one person. That's nice. Okay, cool. Oh, this is everyone. Hexagons were final events, I think. They are final events for that person. Okay. Alright, let's go to the next one for now. Day one, Wednesday. 8.01. Location, hall. Check later, kiddies. 
You can raise or lower your device by pressing the right mouse button. The device must be raised in order to watch the currently selected. Oh, what, is it pause? Uh, does it restart it? I think it restarts it. Okay, cool. Cool! What was this guy's name? Tom? Hiya, you must be Linda. Come here. Oh, did I glitch it? Yeah, oh, I thanks. Hiya. Hi. Hi. Well, it's good to see you. Oh, and you. It's good to be here. Oh, uh, this is Tom. He's the landlord. Got it. Okay, Tom's the landlord. Uh, Linda's new. That's not all your stuff, is it? Neil oh, is no, the Linda's friend. Keys. Well, she looks right. a little old. Back in a minute. Okay. So, uh, is how Neil about Linda's talk? son? Lead on. I guess I couldn't change anything there. Met up with her brother. Okay, they're siblings. Sorry, Linda. <laughs> Alright. What is influence lock? Shift. I don't know. Influence lock. Day one, Wednesday, 804. Location. Kitchen. And here's the kitchen. Guys, this is Linda. Hi. Linda, Hi. this is Ben and Jenny. Like the ice cream? <laughs> is it ben and Jerry? That's us. Oh, We're just okay, so she sweet, already. Yeah. Aren't we, honey? <laughs> oh, we certainly are. Though, I'm also a bit late for work. Dr. Ben, I presume. They're on it. Oh, the you. I right clicked, I'm sorry. That's gonna frustrate me if I do that far into a video. And here's the kitchen. Guys, this is Linda. Hi. Linda, Hi. this is Ben and Jenny. Like the ice cream? <laughs> That's us. We're just so sweet, aren't we, honey? <laughs> oh, we certainly are. Though, I'm also a bit late for work. Dr. Ben, I presume? Oh, the uniform. Well, that, along with your excellent bedside manner with the young lady in pajamas. Oh, she called me young. She can stay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't. See you tonight. See you. I like I guess Jenny. I'll see the two of you later as well. Yeah. Take it easy, mate. See you. Take it easy, mate. Right. Time to see your room. Like the ice cream. I think right now we're just going to be getting introduced to them. But I think it gets quite wild eventually. I'm rooting for Tom to survive Teo's Wednesday, decisions. What's that meant to me? Location, Linda's room. It'll be fine. And this is you. So, was he? Hmm? The previous tenant. Born to rock? Well, he certainly wasn't born to stick around and pay the rent. But I <laughs> Is don't. Linda pregnant? Why? He's left his guitar. I'll get rid of it all for you. Or is she just a little bit on the... Just a little... She had a big meal. If you rewatch the decision, a button will appear next to your device. Pressing this button will pause the event, allow you to select the outcome without having to wait until the decision point. If you change the decision, the event will jump forward to the decision point and then continue onwards, showing you the new result and ending. Okay, so I can change. I can check both results. Um. Holy shit. Either I leave the guitar and posters or I take the guitar and posters away. Let's go with leave the guitar and posters for now. Oh no, it's okay. Leave it. it reminds me, I'm not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> sure thing, Dorf. <laughs> uh, where'd you want these? Oh, just put them anywhere, Toto. What? I'm 
Okay. Now let's try re-watching it. And changing the decision. And this is you. And it should skip us forward. Take the guitar and posters away. Yeah. I know I'm not in Kansas anymore, but my days as a rock chick are way over. <laughs> sure thing, Dorothy. Uh, where'd you want these? Oh, just put them anywhere, Toto. What? Huh? What the fuck is that gonna change? Maybe he'd put it next to a heater and catch on fire or something? God, I will... I'll... I'll leave it like this for now. And maybe I'll have some theory in the future. I, if anything, I say take them away then if posters are burnable, you know? I'll... Uh, I'll leave it as... Uh, he's taking them away for now. But I might go back later. Linda was introduced to her room and agreed to let Tom tidy it up a little. Day one, Wednesday, 810. Location, hall. Hi, Neil. Anything for me in there? Uh, I'll double check. Uh, hold on, I'll, um, I'll double check. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, here you go. Cheers. Uh, can I squeeze past? Work. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. See you, Doc. Question you, is, Neil. what's in that mail, right? Maybe I don't want him to find that. I don't quite understand how you're influencing their decisions. What do you mean? I feel like it's pretty clear. You mean like the tech behind it? How am I influ like? How am I making them change their mind? I think at that point, Cadis, you could take a step back and say, "How are we time traveling?" You know, <laughs> like we're all we're already doing things that don't make any sense. So, <laughs> day one, Wednesday, eight fifteen, location landing. Have you watched any time travel movie? They can't just alter people's minds usually. Yeah, but I have a device. This device enters their mind and makes them change their mind at this point. There's been a glitch in the past in the and and that's why we're here. We've got our device um, to change people's minds. That's it. Are you happy? Where you want logic from it? And your reference is the time travel makes sense because of time travel movies? I mean like you're pissing me off, Cadis. <laughs> you need to move more quickly around the house. Hold shift while moving. Yeah, thanks. Cadis wants That's realism. That's the bathroom, and this is my bedroom. I mean, any explanation oh, would be nice. They might have done it in the intro where I fucked up giving you guys the audio. Morning. Oh, Morning, Zach. Man. How you doing, buddy? Hi. Linda Likey. Who was that? I have no idea. Oh. Oh, hi. I'm Raquel. You must be... Jealous. Uh, this is, um, Linda. <laughs> my sister. So I guess she knows all your childhood secrets, then. Oh, I could tell a tale or two. Leave me alone, you two. Spoil sport. We can talk later, but now I suppose I'd better go throw some clothes on. Okay. I like Raquel. I'll be keeping her alive. The cool thing is, I can I can go forward. Like I can I can go forward days and just check a random one. But I, I suspect I don't want to do that just yet. I don't think there's going to be much context. I need to learn about Day them all. one, Wednesday, eight twenty-six. Location: Neil's room. Isn't the goalkeeping all so of them alive? Yeah. Uh, good. Yeah. 
We're pretty good. Nice place. The landlord seems nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, he's pretty cool. I mean, having a pool table in your basement is pretty awesome, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, I suppose it is. What's your corruption point? How's mum and dad? So, how's mum and dad? Okay, I guess. You guess? When was the last time you talked to them? Well, last week. Sometime. I think. You think? Right, that, that'll be in luck. Um, I, I've got to go to uni. That's... What if she says, how's uni? So, um, how's uni? It's maths you're doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's great. I mean, the course is really good. It's hard in places, but it all makes sense in the end, you know? Uh-huh. And being here is great. It's like, and I know it's not the real world, but it's like being a proper grown-up without all the crap bits. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I'm very familiar with the crap bits. Oh. Um... Oh, well, 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 that'll be Ian. Sorry, I... I'm gonna go with Mum and Dad. I like that they're a bit more real with each other, and I imagine so, it might open up mom and dad? deeper talks later. Okay, I guess. You guess. I have to when rewatch was the last it. Last time you talked to them. Well, last week. I Some wonder time. if I can right-click now and and leave now you that I've think? chosen that. I don't think I can. Right, that, that'll be in luck. Um, I've got to go to uni. That's okay. You go. We'll catch up later. I'll do it on another one when it's a quick intro. Saved by the bell. You think it tells me when certain events pop up because of, you know, like potential 019? Do you think it'll say 019 unlocked? Day one, Wednesday, 831. Location, Paul. There you are. We're going to be late. Sorry. What are you doing up there? Or should that be who? I was just talking. Oh, uh, yeah. To my sister. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is she hot? Don't even think about it or I'll hurt you. Now listen, you can try, yeah? But my granddad learned Kung Fu from Bruce Lee. And then he taught me. Oh, Bruce Lee? No. My granddad. Come on, we gotta go. <sighs> okay. I like Ian. Day one, Wednesday, 8.34. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. Who the fuck is this? Oh no, this is Raquel. This is Jenny. Morning, Ray. So, Zach. It was a fun way to spend a few hours. I know. We heard. Thin walls. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. That's why the speakers are above the bed. In case we have to drown out any wildlife. Really? Now I am sorry. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What's up anyway? Well. I was just seeing Zach out and uh Oh, let me guess. Your door slammed shut on you? Again? Yeah. You got the spare? <laughs> sure. Spare? No. Nope. Ah, here we go. Can't have your head enough to uni dressed like that now, can we? Oh, I don't know. You don't think it'd be appreciated? Mm. Go get dressed, you hussy. Love you. Yeah, yeah. Yoink. Uh, okay. So Jenny has a spare key to Raquel's room. Appointment reminder. Birch Hill Surgery, Dr. Khan. Please do not call to confirm, but if you wish to cancel your appointment, contact us. Okay, this is good to know. So this must be for Jenny.
When is this? 21st of May. What? 21st of May? But that's... After the fire. What point is that? Interesting. Okay. In the beginning, they said time travel released chronal radiation, so the device you're carrying probably absorbs that radiation. That might be how you change events. The amount of that time radiation probably influences people's minds. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> I like that you're theorizing on it, though. Day one, Wednesday. I'll take it. Location, kitchen. Sorry. You ready? Yep. Let's go. You two off? We are. Uni. What are you doing Friday? Oh, yeah. We're having a house party here on Friday. Why does Linda oh, well, look 20 know. years older than everyone? Room, but I don't have anything to wear. You don't need it. Ray and I will be dressing up, but no one else will. But there's got to be something you can borrow from us. I'm not going to fit into anything either of you two own. <laughs> we'll figure something out once we get back tonight. Yeah, we'll sort it. we got to go. Yeah. See you tonight. See you both later. Say it. Sort it. Fix it. No. Fuck, what's the saying? No. Say it. See it. Say it. Sor sort sorted. Is that it? Is it sorted or sorted? I feel like it's see it, say it, sorted, right? Allow it. <laughs> Yoink! Uh, only English people, or maybe, maybe all of UK, will know this. Sorry to those who don't understand what I'm doing. Day one, Wednesday. Never heard of it. Metal tone. See it, say it. Our Tom starting his new school. You could pinch those cheeks. September 2001. It's uh, in the British, um, in the English subway. They want you to report things you see. See it, say it, sort it, sort it. I think it's sort it, right? I feel like it makes more sense Hi. that it's sorted. Oh, yeah. It always sounds the like box? they say sorted. Well, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, suspicious things, you know, terrorist so stuff and um, yeah. bags and really people stealing. I don't know. Besides my work clothes, some jeans and tops for lounging around in. Well, there's some dresses and stuff in there. Might fit. I'm a little scared to ask, but are they yours? No. Oh, no! They're my mum's. She won't. She, she doesn't need them anymore. Oh, I, I can't. Yes, she can. I was just going to throw them out, but she'll be glad someone's getting some use out of them. Okay, I'll take a look. Good. They might need some work. Right, it's sorted. Got I'm it. I'm sure Jenny and Raquel can help you spruce them up a bit. Thank you. No problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a date with some reality TV. Okay. Enjoy. Yeah, uh, does does Ben have a 20-year-old 20 20-year-older 20 sister or something? Like at least 15, right? Cuz Ben looked like he was 20, and she does not look a year under 35. I'm hoping that they touch upon that. Day one, Wednesday, ten thirty. Location, living room. Don't be an idiot. Busy putting the world to rights. 
daytime TV annoys me so much. That's probably why I like it. <laughs> Are you off? Just thought I'd go for a walk. Well, if you go left at the main road, there's a post office and a couple shops. Go right and there's a 24-hour garage. Oh, I wasn't looking for anything in particular. Just fancy to wander, to get my bearings. Sure thing. You get your phone on you? Give us a ring if you get lost. Oh, thanks, Dad. See you in a bit. See ya. Tom's nice. I like Tom. Tom's now gonna have a wank as everybody's left the building. Here we go. He's double checking. Yeah, she's gone, all right. Heading to the bedroom. That's gonna be the next scene. <laughs> Me when Alex goes for a walk with the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Day one, Wednesday, ten thirty-five. Basement. Why Location. is he going to the basement? basement. That's not me. <laughs> what are you doing down here? Is Tom suspicious? Oh, he's got a a nice spot down here. Here we go. What? Sneaky, sneaky. Three, three. Um, I'm detecting some form of temporal anomaly. It does not appear to be in this room, but it is very close. So, uh, please watch out. An anomaly, you say? Doesn't appear to be in this room, but oh shit! You're not searching for a key, 43. Guess we'll find that later. Look, Miranda, we need to talk about last night. Don't worry about marks, they'll heal up in a few days. I'm not talking about the marks, I mean the whole thing. I'm sorry I couldn't hang around this morning for round two, but work had a crisis and they can't seem to get our anything done without me. You're not listening, we need to talk. That reminds me, I'm gonna be busy for a bit, so my naughty little puppy better behave himself. Then, when I'm back, we'll see what else we can do. Toodles. Okay, we'll talk then. Ooh, Miranda is, uh... Naughty. Why is there blood down here after the fire? What happened in this place? I suspect there's more to this case than, uh... We've been, uh, told. Okay. So this is just him going down here, but he doesn't seem to go to the locked door. He goes in here. What would he have done in here? Certificate of Excellence. Barbara Monroe. Photographer of the year. Oh, sorry. Still in the box. <sighs> I believe, 43, that this is what they call irony. Now, what, something I don't know yet. Does anyone know? Any theories? The things that I'm picking up, are they from the time travel date I'm at? Or are they after the fire? Because obviously here, this is after the fire, the one in the blood here. But I'm wondering if the objects are after the fire as well. Like, is this... Yoink. I think it's after the fire, these objects, meaning that's why this is ironic, that this is still here after the fire. But I'm not really... I mean, it's still a clue. It, it's... Something I can try to change that they open this up and install it, but yeah, it's still uh, yeah. They have burn marks. Yeah, and the other thing is this is cracked, isn't it? So I think it's after the fire. I think somebody got hit. Some something happened here, and they dropped their phone. So 
It's a good point also. Why would it be on the floor? <laughs> Day one, Wednesday. So you can't stop the fire? Yeah, true. That's a very good point, actually. So I guess I'm just trying to get them to not be home or, you know, make... Yeah, I don't know. He's in the closet. No, okay. Need a key for that. Why lock an old wardrobe in the basement? Uh, how curious. So that's where he went. I get it now. I need to find out where this key is through the- I can't go in here. Because I'm- and I'm- yeah, and I'm using holograms to see the past events, but I'm not actually there. So I can't go in and see whatever's going on in here until I can find the key, which I'll be told through holograms and stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll have to go back to that one. We can't do that one. Hidden room. Raquel's room. Day one, Wednesday, 1802. Oh, dude, he has Raquel's like tunnels room. in the house. It's locked. Yeah. You'll need that key from Jenny's room. Exactly. Yeah, because they. She had it here, right? But didn't she take it? Why would it. Oh, here we go. Nice. Excellent, 43. Now we can see what lurks behind the lady's door. There's a lot I can interact with. Dear Ben, on behalf of Doctors for All, I'm very pleased to offer you the volunteer doctor placement with us. I'd like you to start on the 13th of July. Okay. So Ben can be a volunteer doctor. Hey, watch out, consultant. Watch out, consultant on Warpath. I think Alan had a bad round of golf this morning. Find something to keep my head down, but I'm on shift until 5. I've been sorry to ask, but any chance of you covering my shift next Saturday? Got a hot date. Yeah, okay. Remember you owe me. Anyway, who is the lucky lady? Emma from Radiology. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go watch this event. Do we think that Tom's in the, in the shadows? Any events that took place in here. Got it. What's the time? Okay, this is in the evening, six o'clock. Eight. Mm hmm With the clothes that Tom Short gave her. Short nineteen ish. Okay then. So can I move again? Oh yeah. All done. Good. I was beginning to feel like a Christmas tree. Ooh, that's a good idea. Where do we put the tinsel? And the baubles! We're not sticking baubles on her. Mm. Tinsel? No! Mm. <laughs> you two are nuts. Why, thank you. We try our best. <laughs> oh. What happened to Tom's mom? How did you two meet? Let's check Tom's mom. Yeah, he did so seem a little quiet about that. So are Tom's mums? Yeah. Is she... dead? Oh, no, no. She's in a care home. A mess. Quite bad from what Tom says. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. She used to be a photographer. Bloody good one, too. And that's now what she that can't was for them. Hold a camera steady. Okay. Is there anything I can do? Pay rent. Tom's always short on cash. That's why he does all the repairs and stuff himself. And that's why there's a certain builder's yard aesthetic to the house. <laughs> and a pool table in the basement. <laughs> yeah, that too. It's a bit weird, but if it makes Tom happy, why not? Plus, it helps us practice our hustling skills. And she does Oh, good the theory username. Hey. But what's he taking pictures of? Why is it locked? That's a really good theory, that it's a dark room that he went into for fixing photos. But the question is, what are they photos of? You know, why would he lock it? Um, let me change to, how did you two meet? How 
did you two meet in the first place? Ooh. Wow, it was nearly three years ago? Fresh as wheat, wasn't it? It was! So, we were drunk, naturally, in some dingy nightclub. The Banshee! <laughs> oh, yeah! So, we met, we danced, and then we went back to my place. Wait a minute. You two... Oh, no. <laughs> Not in the end. Hey, that was definitely my intention. Raquel. Say the sweetest things. <laughs> so what happened? We just ended up talking. Must have been some talk. We both seen death up close when we were really young. I watched my mum die when I was eight. Cancer. And I saw my best friend get run over when I was seven. Oh my God, that's horrible. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It was a long time ago. Yeah. There's been lots of therapy and drugs since then. But it was nice to meet someone who... who understood. And I figured a new best friend was better than a one-night stand. Aww. I bet it'd have been good, though. You're doing great. I like the, um... the writing. I think that the conversations are quite entertaining to listen to. I still don't know what influence lock means. You change. Oh, you can quickly change your decision. If I click X, I can go with the other one very quickly. Interesting. Okay, cool. That's nice. No, because when I hold down shift the lock, it just does this. It's just influence lock. Influence lock. I don't know. Day one, Wednesday, 2131. Location, then in Jenny's room. She takes maybe sleeping tablets? Could be good to know. Is someone there? I'm telling you, man. Tom set up cameras, or... That seemed a little odd to me, 43. Or something. He's... Something's not right here. Or she's seen things. Okay, we got a, the party Friday. The Tom tun tunnels. Small pulsing white dot on the central timeline indicates the last event that was selected. Last event that was selected. Oh, event as in things I can change, yeah. Or? Because I was just here. Okay. Well, here's potential 19 that's still locked. Uh... Or, I can view event. This one I can't. Can I view this? No, yeah, it's locked. So it should be one of these two, surely, that'll unlock it. Day one, Wednesday, 2315. Location, kitchen. Balls. That's it. Boy, it's someone's coking around in there. End event. Sorry about that. That's okay. I wasn't asleep or anything. How's she doing? No change, really. 
But anyway, distract me. What, what's going on with you? You look like crap. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's mostly just the usual. So, long hours dealing with hypochondriacs, drunks, and people who accidentally sat on Coke bottles and now can't get them out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's not enough money, not enough staff, the government's trying to privatise you by the back door, and generally, I just don't feel like you're making actual difference. I couldn't have put it better myself. Oh, you have done. Frequently. Though you, you use longer words. Okay. Well, this time, there's an extra cherry on top. Mm, go on. Remember a few months back, I talked about, you know, working overseas? Um. Ah, one of those places that uh, send doctors into war zones. Yeah, well, it's not just war zones, but... Well, yeah. Anyway, I applied. Well, that's what we found, that he got in. Get anywhere, the volunteer thing. I just got an offer. Whoa, that's great. Or is it? I mean, it's what I really want to do, and, and I think I could actually help people. But... Jen. <sighs> yeah. She can't exactly come with me to, you know, Somalia or Afghanistan, can she? How long is it for? Nine to twelve months. Minimum. <sighs> so... What are you gonna do? I don't know. Drink? Who? Why not? Hmm. He should have just na named it Balls. Where is this located? Linda's room. Have we been in Linda's room? Maybe it's just potential because we can't get in there? I feel like we've been there. Day one, Wednesday. 2331. Location. Half landing. Yoink. Oh yeah, it's where the poster was. Yeah, you're right. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Let's... Let's try lever B for now, and then we'll change it. <laughs> Eleven thirty. All right, let's uh, let's see what's wrong. Thanks for the rain. What? Oh, I don't get to know? Ooh, that'll be the potential, um, hold on. Boom. Once you have watched a decision, your system can detect it if it can influence future events. When you highlight a decision with influence, when you highlight a decision with influence or a scene which is influenced by a previous decision, then dotted influence lines will be drawn along the time map showing these connections. That's the shift button! You can then explore up and down the time map to see all those connections. Okay, let me let me try that. So this, if I then hold shift, I go directly to what influenced it. Or what what it what it changed. Yeah. Hi! For those who don't know, this is a uh, sponsored stream of a game called Eternal Threads. Uh, this game came out yesterday. It is, um, these six people are living in an apartment building, and they have died from a fire. We have time traveled, we can go up to seven days before the fire, and we can change certain decisions they make. And the goal is we can save all six of their lives, or just some, you know, but the goal is to save all six. And we have a timeline here. We're on uh, a week before the fire right now, but there's all kinds of stuff. And certain things you do will uh, unlock certain events that you can view. And you try to make, to change their decisions to save them. Um, I've been told 
in the intro that you can't actually stop the fire from happening, but you can make sure that they live it. Um, yeah, that's the game. We've just played for about half an hour. We haven't missed much. We've just been introduced to the characters. Day one, Wednesday. It's not a scary game, no, it's a story game. Location, Linda's room. Hey, can I come in? Sure. Sorry, I just wanted to check if you were okay. Oh, this. This is nothing. One part melancholy, <laughs> two parts nostalgia. And about a part and a half of Merlot. And one annoying little brother. Oh, you weren't annoying. Well, okay. You were, at times, but it's always a nice annoying. Oh, nice annoying. I'll have to stick that on my CV. You want to talk about it? What's yeah. happened to her? They yeah, insinuated something before about her as well. She's just moved in. But not now. That's okay. Pass the ball then. Sure. I don't like it. I don't know. That's I mean. Where it tastes awful after you've cleaned your teeth. We'll give it back then. I don't want to waste it. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Something's happened. How you feeling, Sammy? Okay, we're on Thursday now. Pool room. Oh shit, they're still playing at 1.15. They've been playing for two hours. Day two, Thursday, or 1.15. Location, pool room. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. No, don't do it. She, she was... She was great. No, she wasn't. She uh, was mental. But the sex was fucking fantastic. Uh, yeah, of course it was. She was mental. And she was gorgeous as well. Look, I'll give you that. But mate, she almost killed you. That... That, that, that was an accident. She cut you. With a knife. Just so she could lick the blood off. Didn't feel a thing. Neither does uh... she. That's the problem. Don't you want me to be happy? Of course I do. That's what I'm saying. I now know who that Don't phone on it. the ground over there is. Uh, let's see what happens when we send the text. Don't. No. You know where we keep the first aid kit, right? Yeah. I'll keep it stocked up. Okay. Well, look, try not to have a round if there's no one else in the house. Serious, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Oh, shit, what have I done? <sighs> what have I done? <laughs> Alright, let's try it not texting. And then we're going to look at if it leads to certain things. Uh huh, so we start it. I'm going to. And then we change it. Don't send text. Oh, shit. You're right. What was I thinking? Oh, thank fuck. Good decision, mate. Bloody good decision. You were... You were worried about me. Yeah, of course I was. You are me, mate. So, this phone from after the fire that we found it's, it's Miranda, that's the ex. Don't worry about the marks, they'll heal up in a few days. I'm not talking about the marks, I mean the whole thing. My naughty little pupper better behave himself. Then when I'm back, we'll see what else we can do. Yeah. It's Miranda. Let's see what events these change. You change the decision along with anything, it changes further down the timeline will be marked with a blue highlight. 
If these changes are currently off screen, this will be shown by blue marks at the top of the screen next to the arrows. These blue highlights will remain on the time map until you change another decision. At that point, the new decision you have changed, along with anything that affects, will be highlighted instead. You can move directly to these changes up or down the time map by selecting the marks with your mouse. Okay, so I don't even have to change back and forth. Yeah. So basically here, Tom listened to Ben. Let me go next. But this is blue, so I assume it would be potential 021 if I text the X. The X. Same here. And here. I guess I won't have this one then, maybe. Dude, they've done this really well. Let's let's double check that. So if I go here, X view, and I text the X. Yeah, then these change instead. Okay, cool. Wow. Yoink. All right, let's let's look at this. So now he's let's watch these. At this point, he's texted his ex. Let's see what happens in Ben and Jenny's room the next morning. That's his friend then, Ben. Yeah. Day two, Thursday, oh seven forty-five. Location: Ben and Jenny's room. Enjoying yourself over there. What? Relaxing in bed, watching you get dressed. Yeah. Well, it'd be better if you were getting undressed. <sighs> I've got to go to work. Oh, I'm lonely. Oh, uh, that reminds me, I was having a drink with Tom last night. Mm-hmm. And he drunk texted Miranda. Oh, God, no. Yeah, so if you could just... Watch out for a psycho goth girl. Make sure he doesn't try again. Uh, yeah, I'll do my best. Though, it'll cost you. Okay. What's the price tag? Oh, not much. Just a night in front of the TV. With all my favourite doctors. <sighs> really? Do I have to? Just a little bit of quality time. Uh, for you, maybe. Exactly. Love you. Doesn't show. <laughs> okay. Let's look at all three events that this has influenced. Day two, Thursday, 0930. Location, Hall. Oh god, is that her? Yeah, that's Someone her. At the door. No. Who is it? I don't know. I've never seen them before. What did he look like? <laughs> Tall? Goth girl? He's scared. Uh, red hair, I think. Shit, shit, shit. What's up? Look, can you tell her... Uh, tell her I'm not here. Uh, t tell oh. her I've gone away, man. Please. Okay. Hello? Hi. Is Tom in? Uh, no, um, he's, uh, he's, he's away for a few days, I think. That's a shame. I'll give him a ring in a bit, but could you tell him that Miranda called? Uh, yeah, yeah, um, I, I'll tell him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure when he's back, but I'll, I'll definitely tell him. Thanks, sweetie. See you later. Bye. She's gone. Sure. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, she's definitely on. Oh, thank God. Who is she? Miranda. My ex. Oh, she seemed... Um, nice. Yeah, she does. But if she ever gets up close, then run before she fucks up your life and destroys your soul. So I guess you don't want to speak to her on the phone either. Oh yeah, this is Neil, Shit. not... Ben. I thought this was Ben from last night. Yeah. Ben's already gone to work. Yeah. Keep mixing up Neil and Ben. Okay, there's one more event that's happened because we texted her. 
And that is... The fuck? Hello, that's a click it. I think I tried that. There we go. The next day, at 20 to 11, in the kitchen. Let's watch that now. Day 3, Friday, 22.40. Location, kitchen. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is during the party on Friday. Hi, sweetie. Miranda. Miranda? Miss me. What, what are you doing there? I've been thinking about you. About what we had. About how fun it was. And then I heard you were having a party. So I thought I'd come along. Uh, 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 I, I've, been, I've been thinking about you too. I am God. hard to forget. Yeah, yeah. So, have you been thinking bad thoughts? Pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. Shall we go back to your room? You can tell me all about them. Okay. There he is. My good little puppy. Let's go play. I doesn't feel like he wants to. <laughs> so now... We're gonna go back. That one doesn't happen if he doesn't text her. So let's... Oh, I'm here. I see. Here. No. Here. That doesn't happen, what we just watched, if he doesn't text her. And these two are different if he doesn't text her, so let's try that. Uh, decided not to send a text message. How does this chat go then? Day two, Thursday, 0745. Location, Ben and Jenny's room. You enjoying yourself over there? What? Relaxing in bed, watching you get dressed. Yeah. Well, it'd be better if you were getting undressed. <sighs> I've got to go to work. I'm lonely. Oh, uh, that reminds me, I was having a drink with Tom last night. Mm -hmm. And he almost and I texted. just stopped him drunk yeah. texting Miranda. Oh, God, no. Yeah, so if you could just... Make sure he doesn't try again? I'll do my best. Though, it'll cost you. Okay. Okay. What's yeah, the price I don't tag? think there's anything more. Oh, not much. Just a night in front of the TV with all my favourite doctors. Do I have to? Just a little bit of quality time. <sighs> For you, maybe. Exactly. Okay, yeah. Um, but surely there's more that <clears throat> changes other than them having sex. There must be more further down right. Unless he ends up with her either way. Day two, Thursday, 0930. Location, Paul. She still shows up. No. You okay down there? There you are. Oh yeah. The house isn't gonna blow up. No, pretty sure of that. Been a few odd power surges, but I'm just checking the electrics now. How did you learn all this? My dad. He was a jack of all trades. Builder, plumber, electrician. <laughs> while the other kids were playing football, he was teaching me how to fix washing machines. That sounds cool. I wish mine had done that. Yeah, well, I wish mine had gone a bit easier on the fried food. Then he'd be here, and he could fix this instead of me. Hmm, <laughs> okay. We'll leave it like this for now. He doesn't text her. And then... 
So it's on the Day landing. Day 2, Thursday, 0832. The landing. Location, oh. landing. Are you okay in there? Oof, she's puking. I see there's a queue. I think I might just go for a pee in the yard. Is she gonna be alright? What the fuck? Keep quiet or I'll hurt you? Yeah, she'll be okay. But if you wanna be okay. Oh, I see. If she's being uh... to anyone. What do you mean? I mean, you weren't here. You didn't hear anything. This didn't happen. Okay. What? Fuck. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Shit. What? Morning sick blues. You know, I figured. Leave this open. Okay. okay. Let me try it again. Hold on. How much wine last night? Yeah. She went a bit hard on the vino collapso last night. Might be a while. Tom really needs to fit another toilet in this place. Yeah. Yeah, he really does. I wonder if she's pregnant. I mean, I <laughs> guessed it earlier, didn't I? <laughs> the way she says don't mention this to anyone makes me think she's pregnant. Let's see if that, uh... If you need to quickly change the decision, highlight it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Selecting so current uh, selecting uh, change the major. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, what does that change? I believe if I just hold... Shift and click right. Whoa! Saturday! So just to be sure, if he threatens her, if she threatens him and says don't tell anyone, then this should be locked, yeah? Yeah, this is locked then. Oh, sorry. So let's see what that event is by having her not threaten him. I bet you it leads to him telling someone about it. Let's find out what happens on Saturday in the living room then. Day four, Saturday, 1046. Location, living room. So this is if she doesn't threaten him. I bet you he mentions it. Oh, look at him, he's standing on the wrong bloody side. He's so crap, Morrison's much better. Give the lad a chance, he's <laughs> got potential. We don't need potential, they're all over us. Look, he's out of position again. He's all we've got. Morrison's injured, isn't he? <sighs> then why don't we buy someone in the summer? Make a bloody tackle! <sighs> that was close. We're gonna get battered. Maybe three. Tom. Yeah? We really need to fit another toilet in this place, mate. It's two days later. We need later. to fit another toilet. Go on, go on, shoot. Uh, why didn't he pass it to Richards? What do you mean, install? Well, there's no plumbing in place, so technically, just pass the ball, it's called an install. Oh, yeah, we'll fit, install that, whatever. We, yeah, we need another one. Yeah, I know. The party, I must have been waiting 20 minutes last night. Are we, are we playing this shit on purpose? <laughs> it's not just the party. Getting out of here in the morning is almost impossible. I had to be in the garden this week because Jenny was throwing up. What? what? Is she okay? Look, we've lost it again. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Come, yeah. Raquel Come said on. she had a bit too much wine Annie. the night before. Oh. Right. Putting in another bathroom is a big job. Two, three weeks. <laughs> oh, come on, Rev, that's a foul. And anyway, it's, it's money, really, which I don't have a lot of at the moment. What? What do you spend all the rent on? My mum's nursing fees, mostly. Oh. Yeah, come right. On. Sorry, I forgot. There you go. Look, I hear what you're saying. Get inside, inside. That's it. I'll price some stuff up and 
Can I just enjoy the footy first? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm, um, I'm, I'm going to see what Kiri's up to. Go on, then! So he mentions it. Yeah, OK. Take right. a shot. I'll catch you later. I don't know if it has any big effect, though, because there's no other event that happens because of it. We'll leave it as it is now, but we'll keep that in mind. What happens in the hall? Day 2, Thursday, 0915. Location, hall. I suspect... Oh, God. Uh, I suspect it's one of those where we kind of have to go through it all and then kind of play God with all the decisions and try to get it right. Tom! The bloody electric's gone again! <sighs> Not again. Okay, I'm on it. I've got to get this sorted. So he checks this either way, whether he texts his ex or not. So I wonder if these decisions, you know when an event gets changed because of something you do, such as texting the ex. I wonder if it doesn't show me potential, potential events being changed because of it. Like here you have two events. Maybe this is directly unlocked by something else, but then the reason there's two depends on if he texts the X or not. You know what I mean? The electronics are a very good tool for tension building. Yeah. Maybe his X coming interrupts his repair. Yeah, true. Yeah, they've done the timeline really well, I think. I think right now, as Ty Guy says, like, overthinking is bad, and I think that's what it is. Like, you're not meant to overthink things too much. Just kind of go along, try stuff out. I think it's later on when you've gone through most of it that you're like, okay, what if we change this? That means that she doesn't come there, meaning we get this one instead. And you try to go that way in order to get someone to not do a certain thing, meaning they're stuck in the bathroom during the fire, you know? And I'm really looking forward to that. But it's gonna be day a while. Two, <laughs> We're only on day two. 1604. Location, landing. Man. One, one sec, pizza time. What you doing? Oh, hi. Um, nothing. Just thought I heard something. Must have been the rats. The what? Oh, you know, the rats. The rats in the walls. I hate you. I know. So, we're gonna do this then? I'm telling you, man, it's Tom's a perv record. in the walls. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Plus, it'll be fun. That's beside the point. To you, maybe. So, this is a sponsored stream. This game is called Eternal Threads. It came out yesterday. You can check it out with exclamation mark Eternal Threads. Um, six people die in a house fire in this apartment building. And it's some sort of error in the time lapse. And us, we're from the future. And we can influence all of the six characters' decisions up to a week before the fire. The fire happens no matter what, as far as I'm aware. But we can save all of them, that's the goal. By changing certain decisions they make in conversation with each other. And we have this timeline to work with, which unlocks certain events depending on what I do in certain previous events. And in and I can, if I want, watch something. I can, I can go over here, and I can watch, you know, I can watch this right now. Um, well, I, I can go and watch this, um, but I don't really see the point yet. I kind of want to... I'm going in order right now, just to kind of, you know, I think it's going to get a little confusing if I start going back and forth a bunch. Where am I? I'm here. 
Raquel teased Jenny about hearing things. This is the second time Jenny's heard something. I don't know whether it's insinuating that she's crazy or if my theory of Tom being a pervert is correct. All right. And then they entered Tom's room to do something. Day two, Thursday, 1606. Location, Thanks, Tom's Fox. room. That's okay. Wait, where's Tom's room? Is it down here? Here he is. Ah, uh, yeah? What's up? You're an idiot. What have I done? Oh, let's see. Last night, alcohol, mobile phone. Right now, Miranda. Miranda. Yeah. Ah, uh, look, I can explain. You were drunk. You were lonely. You're an idiot. But I guess I don't need to. Look, we can understand the booty call. It's how me and Ben first got together. Oh, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we can understand that. Not bloody Miranda. It's not that bad. You need examples. She cut up all your clothes when you had to look after your mum for two days. She kept letting herself into the house with keys that you'd never given her. You had to change the locks after you broke up. Okay, the breakup wasn't great. <laughs> and the relationship. She wouldn't let you go anywhere without her. Though it was okay for her to leave you tied to the bed for a whole day. She wanted to try S and M. Let me guess, you were the M. And did she tell you before she started? No. The first thing I knew about it was when she stopped. Let stuck me up. just stop you there. The reason we're here is not to tell you how <laughs> dumb like... getting back together with Miranda would be. Though it is kind of fun. But to remind you of the party on Friday. I know, I know. We will be coupled up and having a great time. To which we have invited all our single friends. So, if you can just avoid getting chained to a piece of furniture by your psychotic ex-girlfriend, then you might meet someone nice. Someone normal. Someone sane for a change. I can't remember which one we have right now. I think we have it set to him not having texted her, meaning at the party he doesn't run into her. Well, let me double check. Did he text her right now? Tom listened to Ben and decided not to send a text message. Yeah. Sorry. I'm getting a little... Where the fuck am I? Miranda. No, that's Friday. Hold on. That happens anyway? That? You're an idiot. Yeah, we're here now. Day two, Thursday, 17 of. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's hard to say. <sighs> no, wait. A, a week. Two tops. But I don't have that kind of money, so we either wait or we both get nothing. Good. Great. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Hi. Oh, hi. Is this weekend still okay? Uh, this weekend. My son staying over? Oh, yeah, that's fine, yeah. 
I'm just trying to remember if there's a mattress for the folding. Oh, don't worry about it. Kieran can have my bed. I'll take the sofa. Ah, uh, cool. Oh, yeah. I was gonna nip out to the yard for small, but there don't seem to be a key. It's usually on the nail by the back door. But I keep a spare stuck to the back of that wooden doll over there. Good to know. Okay. I've got to ask, but what the hell is it? And is it gonna come to life and murder us all in the night? <laughs> no, we should be safe. My dad made the freaky little thing out of some driftwood years ago. Oh, pie. He always needed something to work on, even when it wasn't working. Well, at least it'll be hard to forget where the key is. Yeah, that was kind of my fault as well. It's fine. So, there is a spare key for the back door, 43. Ah, oh, good, good. Now you should be able to get outside. Looks like the signal's rather low outside 43. We're gonna need another booster out there. Okay, <clears throat> I have marked a spot. You should be able to see it now. Day 2, Thursday, 1835. Location. Some friend you are. What have I done now? Telling everyone about me getting drunk. And... Miranda. Well, do you want to get back with her? Last night, when I was drunk? Maybe. Now I'm sober, no fucking chance. Okay then. And am I here all the time? Well, no, because you've got to go to work. So, having a few other people around who can help you not make a mistake is good, right? Look, make my own mistakes. that's not the point. I don't have much of a life at the moment, so what I do have, I should be allowed to fuck up on my own. Yep, okay? Sure, that's how you feel. Yeah, yeah, I do. But, um, could you? Tell the girls. Yeah, I can do that. Good, because the two of them together scared me. It would be so draining keeping this guy from texting his crazy ex. Yeah, especially with how violent she is. I know, um, I know someone who has a friend with a, a violent ex. Some friend. And I know it's that uh, it can be really well. I don't. I don't think it's a current thing anymore, but it was a few years ago. I remember being told something about their friend, and that it's really draining trying to help them with it, because, like, I think you can get really attached to them. So instead of him saying, let me make my own mistakes, let's have him say, yeah, you're right, as in, let's keep them around to keep me from making a mistake. I suppose. So what did they do? Well, they called me an idiot, and then they said that they'd invite their single friends over to the party on Friday. Okay. So, why are you complaining again? Because I'm an idiot. Let's see what that changes, depending on. Oh, shit. 
Holy shit. Holy shit. <clears throat> There's a lot of consequences here, yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. We're going to look at the current timeline, which is Tom admits to Ben that he could probably do with the help. And we're going to skip ahead and look at all that it influences, and then we're going to change it and look what happens. And we're going to decide on that now, before we keep going here. So, he says it's okay, and it's fair that they help regarding his girlfriend. This is... This is two minutes after the scene where Miranda shows up at the party and drags Tom to his room to go have sex. I suspect, this is two minutes after, I suspect they come and say, no, Tom, don't do this. Because he said, you need to help me. Day three, Friday, 2242. Location, dining. What are you doing? It's Tom. He's talking to his ex-girlfriend. Oh. Is that good? No. No, it's not. She's a bloody lunatic. Come on, mate. Tell her to sling a hook. Come on, Tom. Damn it! Shit! Oh, no. Right. That's it. I'm putting an end to this. Do you need any help? Nope. Well... Just in case, if you're not back in five minutes, we'll send in the medic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll bring sponges to mop up the blood. Good luck. Don't need it, but thanks anyway. Okay, so she goes off to stop it because he said he's okay with them helping. And then, three minutes later in Tom's room, Day three, Friday, 2245. Location, Tom's room. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just realized something. There's one in between here. Oh, that's in the kitchen. That's locked. I wonder if that unlocks if he says he doesn't need help. We'll see. I thought maybe it would be in Tom's room and we get to see right before Day she comes three, in. Friday. Hi! Sorry to interrupt. What the fuck? What do you want? Get the hell out of my well, room! Well, again, I'm really sorry about this. Sorry? But there's something I need to tell you before things go any further. No, get the hell out of my- What is it? Tom? What? I got the results back from the clinic earlier, and they were positive. <gasps> the I've got positive. gonorrhea, which means you've got it too. Sorry. What? Thought I'd better tell you before, you know. Ra Bye. What, what the fuck? Raquel. Your disease. No. Uh, which... Oh, Thomas, we could have been great together. Wait, I didn't. Miranda. What the hell just happened? Disease. Okay. That leads to... Five minutes later in the dining room. Day three, Friday. 22.50. Location, dining room. What the hell was that? Hey, whoa. Wait a second there. Wait. You were all in and... Yeah. Of course we were. 
you are looking at the core members of the Save Tom From Himself committee. We've all been looking out for me. Of course we have. That's right, mate. Ditto. How's about we get you a drink? Come on. Well, that went okay. I thought we'd be picking up pieces of Raquel after that. You're kidding, right? We're talking about Raquel. She would have torn him apart. Okay. Quick recap for latecomers. Um, we're saving, we're traveling back in time to save six people from a fire in an apartment building. Our decisions, we change people's minds on certain decisions which alter the events of the week previous, bef before the fire. Right now we're looking at what happens if Tom, the guy we were just looking at, um, if he says to his friends it's okay that they look out for him regarding his abusive ex. And then we're going to be looking at what happens if he says, don't look out for me. And now, there's more decisions Yeah, here. These events are also because of what he said. Day four, Saturday, 0040. This is... Okay, still the party. What the fuck is this? Hiya. Hello there. Ooh, he meets... Fiona. Yeah, I'm looking for someone. And no, I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> right. Maybe I can help. No, it's all right. I see them now. Hey, there you are. Come here. Uh, oh. Right. I'm calling it. They end up in a threesome. Backyard. Day four, Saturday, 01.30. Location, backyard. What? What are you doing out here? Sitting? No. No, I mean, why? Oh, all right. The party. The party? That's Linda? Oh. Uh, she wearing a wig? And the alcohol. Mm -hmm. A little bit too much of that, too. Oh, definitely not what you mean of that one. Uh, you enjoy yourself, though. At least for a bit, right? Mm, yeah. I think I might piss near a lot of it. I think Raquel swings that way. Yeah, she does. In the mm -hmm. intro scene, a uh, man was leaving her place. Yes, yeah, suppose. You? What? Have a good party? Well, no, not really. Why? Completely afford to chat up anybody. Oh, I'm sorry. And if you don't count my psycho ex-girlfriend, it's, it's been a long time. Well, <laughs> there aren't been much excitement in my business. Oh shit, recently, it's Linda and well, Tom end up together, come on. Mary. I don't mean I'm getting any. Last time oh, she's married. Before Christmas. Harry fell asleep halfway through as well. Ish. God knows when it will be for that. Oh, here we I'm go. So sorry. Oh shit! Ah well, can't be helped. Better or worse, right? Mm, I suppose so. Still the crappy end of the stick, though. Yeah, but tomorrow I get the nice end. Hmm? Erin, he stayed for the weekend, remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that'll be nice. Yeah, yeah, it will. All right, let's try. Her flirting. Oh no, sorry. Sorry, sorry. How sorry. Really? You're sorry? Yeah. How sorry? Uh, yeah. Um, really, really sorry. 
Because I feel a bit sad about it. Oh, oh okay. And I was wondering if you could uh, cheer me up a bit. Uh, yeah, I'd be up for that. Good. Shall we go to your room? Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, Tom, every time that he ends up in a situation with sex so far, he's like a... Well, what Miranda call him? Like a puppy, isn't he? He's really like, uh... Yeah, alright, like a lost puppy. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> really unsure. Okay, so this is starting to fuck with my brain. Because that leads to this, and this. Oh, shit. But I wasn't done looking at the other... Uh, oh my god. Alright. Let's look at these for now. Day 4, Saturday, 08.42. Location, Tom's room. Oh, this is in the morning after. Uh, fuck. Wait, you're not Miranda. Not the last time I checked, no. Linda? Whoa, wait, wait, did, did we do it? Oh, so nice to know I was a memorable shag. No, I, I mean, I mean, I didn't mean that. I meant, I wish I could remember a bit more. Oh. oh okay, I'll let you off. <sighs> Though I wish you weren't wearing those clothes. Easy, Tiger. I thought you were hung over. No, I mean, my mum's clothes. It's a bit <gasps> Freudian, isn't it? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What? Well, I was kind of hoping to be out of here before that doorbell rang. That's funny. Day four, Saturday, oh eight forty five. Location. Hall. Interesting. Oh, uh, hi, Neil. Back here, you're in. Come in. Where's my mum? Here I am. Oh, hi mum. Hi love. Come here. Oh, mum. Where did you come from? Backyard, smoke. Oh, mum. You're not back on the cigs again, nice are you? excuse. Just a couple of day. I'm sorry. Are those your clothes from last night? What is this, the Spanish Inquisition? Yes, I believe these are what I had on last night, Your Honour. I just grabbed the first thing that came to hand this morning. I'll change them in a minute. So, if the interrogation's over, shall we do a quick tour first? Yeah, okay. I think you're gonna like what's in the basement, kid. This is backyard on Monday. Day so we're looking at events Monday. that are affected eight, because okay. of that decision Location. to sleep together. Yoink. You're up early. Yeah, I've got to go help set up a gallery. Oh, is this your final exhibition? Yeah, three years of my life. And my future career prospects all riding on this. Ooh, so no pressure then? No, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> What's up? Oh no, don't worry about it. You've got enough on your plate. You sure? 
Yeah. It's nothing important, really. Okay then. If you're not gonna spill the beans, I must go. For my art awaits. <laughs> Knock them dead, Picasso. <laughs> I'll try. Catch me later? Yeah, I'll catch you later. Go on, go. Okay, I need to test something. I need to see if it stays in blue if I change this, or if this will make something else blue. Because there's one more... Because we slept with her... This is blue. But also... No, no, stop. But also this. Okay, event 135. Let's see if that stays blue, as well as... 156. Because I'm really stacking them here. So she's gonna say what's on her mind. Tell me, or I will hurt you. <laughs> okay, okay. I surrender. Look, this doesn't go any further. Cross my heart. Okay. Well, you remember the party? Bits of it. Yoink. Well, at the end of the night. It gave Tom a location daft in the intro. Out Can't here. remember what it was. Talking. Mm -hmm. And then we went back to his room. You dirty dog. <laughs> Look who's talking. It was a compliment. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, we slept together. Ongoing or one off? We were drunk, we were lonely. I'm married. So, one off. Okay. And well, obviously, you didn't know about it. No, well, I was busy myself at the end of the party. <laughs> but I know Neil suspected something happened. Okay. So, I think maybe I should just Neil tell is her him. brother. I can't see that conversation going well. No, but it'd be better than him finding out from somewhere else. Self-denial and a complicated tissue of lies and half-truths not an option, then? <laughs> no, don't think so. Not anymore. Well, tell him, then. At least you'll be there for the explosion. And maybe being there, you can make it a little less explodey. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right. That's enough about me and my problems. You better go do your gallery thing. Yes, my art. My art. It calls to me. <laughs> Get out of here, Picasso. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, later. So. Now this is what makes you fully qualified in my eyes, 43. Nicely done. What? That saves Neil? Whenever you save a character, their bios will change to show what happens to them after the events of the fire. Each character's bio can change further based on both how they are saved and who else is also saved alongside them. To read a character's bio, go to the conclusion event and highlight that character in the ring of hexagons surrounding the main central hexagon. Holy- this is- how the fuck did they do this? This is, a uh, This is mind-blowing. What were the ones I asked to- about? Somebody wrote them down. Karin wrote them. 135 and 156. Okay, yeah, so if I am on a, an event that has been changed based off of a changed uh, decision previously, and that's why it's blue and I click on it, and then I have another blue one later that's also changed because of that decision I made, if I then change a decision on the current blue one I'm on, then the blue one that I had from the previous thing, which is the reason we're here in the first play, place, disappears. And I would have to go back, like so. Yeah, because it was 135 last time. Okay. Holy shit. I can see why this is a 8 to 10 hour game. There's a lot of back and forth, I think. Okay, so Neil is currently saved. Let's just keep going along these blue and see kind of what happens. Day 6, Monday, 1912. Location, basement. 
Now the thing is, chat, Neil is saved based off of this, but it might mean that someone else is doomed. Meaning... I might have to unsave him and find another way to save him so that that other person isn't doomed. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think it's as easy as it looks. And we're gonna find that. I think we're gonna find out. What are you doing down here? Laundry. You do know you can leave it to wash itself and come back later. Yeah, I know. It's just... Someone told me I needed to relax a bit more, so I, I thought I'd just sit here and watch my clothes go round and round. And is it working? I Relaxing, bet you... I mean. She tells him here oh, that she slept with uh, Tom. What have I done wrong now? Oh, no. You haven't done anything. It's just... Something happened, and well, you're bound to find out eventually, so I figured it'd be better if you heard it from me. Today was going so well. Okay. Right. Well, um... You know how I had a little bit too much to drink at the party? Yeah? I kind of noticed that. Well, Tom also had a bit too much to drink. Figures. Um, <laughs> the two of us ended the night chatting in the yard. Hi, Chef Bo. Thanks for the tier the three reset, buddy. Back to his Much room. love. Okay. Yeah, and big we, heavy rain vibes. You know. What? We slept together. <laughs> Wait. What? You slept with Tom? Yes. Tom... My landlord, Tom. Yes. Fucking hell! Look, I'm sorry. We were both drunk. We were both. You're lonely. fucking married! Well, yeah, we all make mistakes, don't we? Go confront Tom. You see, I wonder if this kills him. Like, if he stops being alive, if I change the timeline here. Yeah. Yeah, we do all make mistakes. Wait, where are you going? Neil? I'm going to see my landlord. I need to discuss a mistake he's made. No, wait. Neil! Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Neil, wait! Holy shit, okay. Hold on, I want it. So Neil is still alive, even if I do that. Portrait at the top of the blah 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 blah. These portraits can also be used to filter the time map. Select a portrait or multiple portraits and the time map will only show the events in which those selected characters appear. Nice. I want to see... your finale and why you're currently alive. Final fate of the housemates based on the current timeline. Let's watch this. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, okay, no, perfect. This shows the current status of the mission and can also show the individual's bios for each of the characters. Highlighting the central hexagon will display the current mission status. So based off of all the decisions I've currently made, this is what ends up happening. Moving to the outer ring of the hexagons and then around it will show the current bio for each of the highlighted characters in turn. Both the mission status and the individual's bios will change based on the current settings of events on the timeline. To actually watch the conclusion event again, select one of the characters and you will be returned to the house as if you had selected a normal event. While all of the characters will appear in the conclusion event, the one you selected will provide the target for your visualizer. Okay, so, currently he survives. At 1.45 a.m. on Wednesday, Lancashire Emergency Services received multiple phone calls about a fire, blah blah blah. Fire crews were scrambled. Fire arrived, blah 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 blah. Fire was limited to the main hall and landing areas were extinguished quickly. Smoke damage, however, was extensive. The source appeared to be an electrical fault in the consumer unit. Unfortunately, only one occupant survived. With the fire preventing them from leaving the property via the front door, Mr. Banks instead had to retreat to the safety of the backyard. After checks by on-site paramedics, he was taken to hospital. The bodies were removed for further examination post-mortems. Okay. Linda. Linda died. Doesn't give me really details about it. View event. Neil, status, alive. Day 8, Wednesday, 0154. Location, backyard. Linda! 
Linda! Linda! So he survives. He goes to confront him, doesn't he? Based off of what I chose. In the basement. What are you doing now? Oh no, fuck, it's the next one. My bad. Laundry. You do This is where I've already decided to confront him. Day six, Monday, nineteen eighteen. Location, dining room. One sec, Kiddus. Just want to see this. Tom! Oh, hi, Neil. What's up? Friday night? At the party? Yeah. You shagged my sister? Whoa. Well, <gasps> um, yeah. Look, we we're, were both a bit drunk. I, I She's married, you bastard! She's got a fucking kid! Hey, look, she came up to me. Well, and you couldn't keep it in your pants, or you couldn't say no? Hey, Neil, look. You fucker! No! no. Get off me! Uh. Linda! Oh, God. Oi! God! Hey, are you okay? Uh, where, where's, where's Neil? Little fuckers run off. Why don't you sit down and rest a minute? I'll go have a word with the little prick. No, no, please don't. I I, I need to talk to him. Now she's well, blind, yeah. You. No, she no, can't I, see anything on the day of the it fire. It might open up if it's just me. Fine. Okay. But if he lays a finger on you... He won't. Thanks. Fuck! You shagged my sister. <laughs> okay! That's gonna end the first session. Uh, I'm doing, uh, they've asked me to do two sponsored streams, two two-hour sponsored streams. And I think if I go a little too deep on this first one, I think it's going to get a little out of control. So I think I'm going to do this, put it on more TO, and then play another session in uh, a few days. Um, because I think there's a lot to take in here. Um, and I think, uh, I think if you've come in late and you want to keep track of this, I, I think I want to play this to the end. So if you want to keep track of the playthrough... Then uh, watch it from the beginning on Mortio. It's a two-hour session, and that way you can kind of stay on top of it. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think it's about to get very deep, so I think this is a good way of doing it. Um, I'm gonna forget so much. Yeah, I'll try to do some sort of like, <laughs> I'll try to do some sort of um, summary. I'll try to, I'll try to think of doing a good summary in the beginning of the next session. Uh, this was, of course, a sponsored stream. If you wanna, if you wanna play it yourself, do exclamation mark eternal threads. Uh, maybe you can get ahead of me before the next session, and you can see how how I do and stuff. Or if you just wanna play it yourself, if you've been convinced and you wanna just go through it on your own, then there's the link. I'm really liking it, actually. I'm I'm really into it. Should be easy to finish. I don't know if it'll be easy. I think it is. A, it is a bit. I'm like as messy it is for uh, for me to keep track of all the timelines in my head. I can't imagine how it is to develop something like this and keep track of it all. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing more. Oh, motivation-wise, yeah. Pretty easy to just hop on and play. Um, let me go to main menu first in case it, there's some saving mess. What are we gonna do now? I'll tell you in a second. Let me just sort everything out here.